Hey everybody, this is Frank Cox. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, I'm going to teach you how to light a stick burner my way. Um, so here's what we got. We got this bag of charcoal here. You know, I'm just going to dump some in the chimney. I'm going to get it, uh, you know, pretty good and full. And, uh, you know, then we're going to stick it on that burner. Ugh. Got to pick up all the little pieces here. <laughs> Don't want to leave a mess. But anyway, so we're going to light this burner here. And uh, once we get it lit, we're just going to set that chimney up on top of that gas flame there. Okay, so that's been burning for a minute. And uh, what we're going to do here is get this rack pulled out so we can set our chimney on it here. And uh, we're going to let that chimney sit for a little while until the top of it turns out like this, salt and pepper colored. Then we're going to dump it right here on top of this uh, rack like this. You know, you can pick a spot. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I usually go for the middle. And then i got some red oak here. Um, red oak's a little more temperamental to start with, but that's what I had handy. So I'm putting two splits right on top of there. And you'll notice I like to put the bark down. I like to... The bark's the hardest part to get caught. So, you know, you might close the firebox door just a little, and then you're going to open up your smokestacks, and uh, you're going to open up your cook chamber door all the way. We want to get as much air as possible to this fire. And you know what's going to happen is, is that logs is sitting on top of that coal bed. It's going to start to fully engulf in flames. It takes a little while. You know, once that... Uh, once that starts to turn and, and uh, you'll start to see bigger flames, you know, then you might go ahead and, uh, you know, just kind of grab your poker, kind of pull that log up on top of there a little bit, get it in closer. We want to try to keep our coal bed under the logs as much as possible. So now we're going to go ahead and close this door. We're going to open our air inlets up. Now, you know, you might have them open more at the beginning. Um, what we're trying to do is make sure we get as much air as possible to the fire at the beginning of the cook and get our cook chamber up to temp. And then we're going to go ahead and close these cook chamber doors. Um, you know, you're going to leave your smokestack open all the way. And, uh, you know, you're hoping to see some thin blue smoke like this. So as your temperature starts to climb up, you know, you, you'll uh, see your smoke start to thin out a little bit more even. But that temperature is going to continue to rise. And, uh, you know, about every 30 to 45 minutes, you're going to want to put another log on that fire. The bigger your cooker, the more wood you're going to have to put on it, you know. Um, but once we round out here about 225, you know, that's the magic number. And uh, just kind of keep that rhythm. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hey, we just talked about rhythm and barbecue and, and how important that is, you know, consistency and rhythm, and we want this to be fun to, to run this pit. And so no doubt you've, run, you've operated pits in the past that just, you know, weren't really what you were looking for. They, they were hard to operate and, uh, you know, you really, it was, it was all over the map. You really couldn't get that consistent uh, operating temperature and, and expected way of, op of running the pit. So I, I would like to give you an opportunity to get started with that. If you'd like to know how I do it, go on over to www.smokerplans.com. The link's right below us here in the, in the description of the video. Um, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to get you into a set of plans for free. I kid you not. You know, I, I put consistency into every single thing that we do at Smoker Builder, including our smoker plans. And uh, we've, we've got over 200 sets of plans. But I'm going to give you this one for free. All you got to do is go over there, just pay shipping and handling. That's it. Just put in your email, and uh, it's going to cost $12.95 in, in shipping, handling, and printing. Get that over there to you. And we ship internationally. So if you're watching this video, I guarantee we can get it to you. But anyway, that's going to get you into a build that, that you can build yourself, which is the biggest part of this whole barbecue thing, is, is building the smoker yourself because you're gonna, you're gonna learn a whole new level of barbecue that like literally unlocks the secrets of, of how these things run and, and you'll learn so much, but you'll also have an amazing pit that you can pass down for generations to come, which is why we call this specific cooker the legacy cooker. It's gonna set up a legacy that you can hand down for generations to come. So anyway, I'm gonna give you free plans. I just want you to build this pit, that's all I want. Go on over www.smokerplans.com. 
I can't wait to see your build.